Misty. Hi, I'm Misty from How Creative Creations. Today, I made a new recipe. S'mores, no bake cookie bars. Let's get started. Hello friends. This is the ingredients. You need two sticks of butter, a package of 12 ounce marshmallows, graham crackers, chocolate chips, and optionally some M&Ms oh, and some mini marshmallows. You start off by melting two sticks of butter in a large pot. I use my Dutch oven. I like it best. Let it melt. And while it's melting, you open your graham cracker sleeves. And in this, I used three. But in the recipe, when I wrote it down, I only put two. I actually recorded the raw development of this recipe. So, the real recipe will be below in the description. Open your graham crackers and you put them in a bag. You do not let your teenage son help you crush the graham crackers. You do not want them powder. You want them in large chunks. Which was the argument we were having here. He had already taken one out. I looked over at this point and he's crunching on something and I'm what are you doing? I wanted a graham cracker. So he was eating one of the graham crackers out of that pack. And so you put them in the Ziploc bag. Then you let all the air out of the Ziploc bag. It makes it easier to crunch your stuff. Pound, pound, pound. I'm using my rolling pin, my wooden rolling pin. Quit. He wants to crunch them, and I didn't want them in powder form. See, I want large chunks. I'm going to flip the bag over and make sure I crunch up the huge chunks on this side, too. See, I don't want any whole pieces of graham cracker, but I want larger chunks. There you go. Now this, Ethan came up with the idea for this cookie bar. We were in the car coming back. He had to get a COVID test. And he said, you know what would be really good? My butter's melted. So now I'm going to add my crunched up graham crackers to the butter and stir. He said, Mom, s'mores cookies would be really good. I was like, I got you. Bet. So we stopped at the Dollar General on the way home. Oh, then you add, sorry, I said it wrong. You add the marshmallows to the butter so they can melt. And these marshmallows, for some reason, stuck to the bag so bad. Uh -huh. So, and you start stirring them in. You have to babysit this. I also put in a little bit of vanilla. I use homemade vanilla. I make my own vanilla. I don't use the beaver butt stuff. And if you want to know what I'm talking about, look up where vanilla extract, uh, imitation vanilla extract comes from. So at this point, this is just like making a crispy rice cereal treat bars. Can't use the official name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. With the commercial and the flour across the forehead and go, Whoa, that was so hard. Um, I did not fast forward anything. So the time of this video from start to finish is start to finish. Except I did put them in the fridge for an hour before I cut them. So this is actually a quick and easy no-bake cookie bar. 
you can make this holiday and impress your friends. Just remember who made the recipe. So, I am thinking because not only do I make stick ponies and imaginative toys and gifts, I also very much live a homesteading lifestyle. And cooking is the biggest part of that. I mean, I garden, raise chickens, collect the eggs, all that. I'm in the city. I don't have as much garden as I want. But I can do all that. And I've noticed that my videos where I'm doing cooking things and meal planning and meal prep gets a lot more attention than me making things. So I was thinking about maybe changing my channel to How Creative Homesteading or something along those lines and moving into more of these style videos. But I wanted y'all's opinion on that. Let me know down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I'm happy to do those. Do these type of videos. I love doing them. I like doing the others too. I won't quit doing those. But I might change it to more focusing on this. Y'all just let me know down in the comments. I really want y'all's opinion. Okay. Now the marshmallows are all melted. The butter... Everything, it's all melted and combined, right? Looks just like those ricey treaty things. That's what we'll call them, ricey treaty things. Now, you add graham crackers. See, I left big pieces. There's tiny pieces, but there's big pieces. And you start, and I will suggest at this point, don't use a rubber spatula unless it's one of the thick spoonulas. This is a thin spoonula, and it made it difficult because it's not wanting to move stuff. It keeps bending. The thicker ones or a wooden spoon would work better. Okay, from here, you add the chocolate chips. And I did three cups here, but I cut it back on the recipe because it's just on ours a little too chocolatey. A little too overpowering. So I did cut it back to two cups of chocolate chips instead of three. Which it works perfect. So we did that and we added some mini marshmallows. We did two cups of mini marshmallows. At this point, I cut the fire off when I got to adding the graham crackers. I just stir those in a little bit so they get kind of distributed so you get big chunks of marshmallow on top of the little chunks. And yes, everything in my house, I don't buy plastic storageware. We use what we get from the store. We use it. Again, that's that homesteading principle. Um, it's also a cheapskate thing. I am not paying for plastic pieces that are going to get thrown away in a few months anyways. I get free ones every time I go to the store. Uh, then from here, you add it to a buttered casserole dish. I think this is 9 by 13. I'm not sure. This is one of my smaller ones. That's all I know. This is perfect size for lasagna. So... Once you put it in, you take your rubber spatula back again, and you kind of smooth it out in your pan. Mm. Kind of smush it. Technical term, smush. You kind of smush it down so you can see big chunks of the marshmallows. Then, 
I used a cup here, but I'll cut it back to half a cup, and this is an optional. You could just... <laughs> You could just uh, use some more mini marshmallows on top, or you could do nothing at all. I chose to do Christmas M&Ms because I bought them at Sam's this week. And you can just sprinkle them on top. And then you just kind of smush them in with the rubber spatula. You can use your fingers too. I just have a thing about getting my fingers. I put them in the fridge and I chilled them for about an hour. Steps optional. You could do the freezer for an hour and make them a harder bar. But this worked out fine. They made perfect bars. Or I say it was an hour. I think it was more like 35, 40 minutes. I cut them. So they were pretty easy to cut. I'm holding the knife that way because <laughs> I can't, I'm short and my cabinets are a little bit taller. So I can't get a good hold the normal way you'd hold a knife when it's coming at me and hold control. That's the only reason I'm holding my knife like I'm killing somebody here. I'm reaching over to grab my serving spatula. And I am so sorry if you hear my children in the background. They have no concept of mom's recording. So, they were easy. I did give up on the serving spatula and go to a fork because of the size I cut them the serving. I put them on a decorative cake plate. You could put them on whatever. Oh, don't close your eyes. Here. Try a bite. In the camera. Mm. Is it good? I like it. It's you know sugary. what it is? Tastes like s'mores. Mm -hmm. What do you rate it on a scale of one to ten? A thousand. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, you got it from a kid's mouth. Kid approved. Teenager approved. He just doesn't want to be on camera right now. No, I don't. <laughs> so, recipe. Sorry, my nose itches. Recipe in the comments. And this will be in my new cookbook when I finally get it printed out and uh, put up. So, and Ethan did TikTok while I'm filming. I, Teenagers. Oh, no, just kidding. Anyways, um, so this is an all new recipe. Nobody else has done these. So this is mine. Y'all have a great day. Blessings. Okay, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this new recipe. Isn't it beautiful and yummy looking? I want y'all to have a great day. And remember, like, share, and comment below. It really helps me out. If you like what you see, subscribe. And let me know what you think about what I asked in the comments. Y'all have a blessed day and enjoy. Bye.